Yo, what up YouTube, it's your boy, DJ2020, I'm in the building. As you know, I got another topic. Uh, before I set the topic off, don't forget, you know, at the end of this video, subscribe below, hit the bell, all that stuff they tell you how to do. You know what I'm saying? Today I'm going to talk about unnecessary altercations. Basically what I'm saying is how things happen when they're really unnecessary. You know what I mean? Let's take for instance. You in dire straits. You hurting right now. You need a friend. You need a shoulder to lean on. I'm that type of dude. I'm there for you. You know what I'm saying? You come to me. You say, hey, 20. I messed up. I need to borrow some money. I have no problem, God knows, I have no problem with that. We sit down, we talk it out like men, even if it's a woman, we talk it out like men, and we come to an agreement. You said, hey 20, I need to borrow $20. I said, okay, I got you. When you think you're going to be able to give that back? You say, hey, 20, I'm going to give it back to you on Wednesday. So I fall back, kindness of my heart, know you in the situation, and I give you that 20 up. Here comes the unnecessary altercation. Wednesday come, I'm a little strapped for cash, I call you up. I let you know, hey, do you think you got that? Because I may be needing that. Or you turn around and I call you and now you ducking and you dodging. Or I call you and things have changed. The deal has changed. But how did the deal change if Monday, if I lend it to you Friday? And then Saturday, Sunday, and Monday came, then Tuesday came, now here today is Wednesday. You mean all that time you didn't know you wasn't going to have what you agreed upon? This opens up the case of unnecessary altercation. Why do people do that? I'm sure if you told me the truth, because I'm real. A lot of people throw that word real around, but a lot of people are real and don't even know what real is. They just say they real because hip hop said real, the street said real, somebody said, yo, be real. That's your definition of real. That's, that's how a lot of people roll. They say, hey, I'm real, based upon who? Because if you told yourself you was real, then you're a liar. Because how you know what real is, if you never encountered real, how do you know what real is? You can't be real because you said you real because what if you doing is wrong? How are you real? Real recognize real as we say. Real recognizes real. You know who's real or not. You know when somebody's pouring something out from their heart. But like I was saying, so. Now, I don't like that because that leads to unnecessary altercation because a conversation, communication don't hurt nobody. And I'm sure if a person was to call me and say, hey, I know today is Monday. I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to have that by Wednesday for you. We talk, we work something out. You know, I'm not from the hood. I'm not going to dub on you. I'm not going to say, yo, you owe me 20, now you got to give me 40. Another situation that leads to unnecessary altercation is when you cheat. When you cheat, you can't run around when you get caught and play the victim. How are you the victim? Here's a case in point. This is go for guy or girl, because I shouldn't have to break it up. This is just general. Ain't nothing directed at nobody. This is general. When I talk, I speak general, real talk. Um, I go out with this girl, because she's my girlfriend. 
Then there's my wife, which is my girlfriend. You know, you know the difference, right? Girlfriend and girlfriend. Okay. Me and this girl, my girlfriend, we wind up doing some things. That's all right. That's cool. You keep that under wraps. Don't kiss and tell. Don't worry about it coming back because you're so-called real like that. Then you got nothing to worry about. But, let's say it come out. How are you defending yourself saying it's this person's fault that happened, it's that person's fault that happened? No, it's your fault that happened. You and that partner because y'all both knew y'all was wrong. Because if you can't sit down with a person, you can't go out with your girlfriend and then come back and tell your lady friend or your wife what you and your girlfriend did. Or she can't go back and tell her boyfriend or her man what y'all did. Then both of y'all wrong. You understand what I'm saying? Do you get it? Do you get it? I know I speak in a different dialect. I, I'm from a different country. I, I speak English, but y'all don't get me sometimes. Y'all don't hear me though. If you can't sit down with your girlfriend and tell her what you did with another girl, it's because it's wrong. If you can't sit with your boyfriend and tell your boyfriend what you did with another man, then you're wrong. And that's just it. So why open up the case of unnecessary altercations? Me personally, I just don't do it all together because it's too much work, it's too much load, my player days is over. Jealousy brings forth another unnecessary altercation because I always keep it on me always remember that I always keep things on me it's not about me general statements not about nothing that's happening in my life it's just general statements because these are things I see I sit home I go in the streets I analyze stuff and I say why did that happen that could have been avoided um you outside and something just pops up. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's how unnecessary altercations always happen. Everything is a pop up because you made a bad decision based on a bad decision. You made a bad decision based on a bad decision. I know it's a little confusing for y'all, but that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to confuse the fuck out of y'all. Excuse my language. I'm trying to get y'all to understand because a lot of y'all still plugged into the matrix and some of y'all, yo, I said this yesterday, some of y'all in the streets right now, in real life, some of y'all need to go back and get plugged back in. You know when you see the movie The Matrix and they sleeping in that little canister thing, that little pod thing, and then you come out into the world and realize you was in The Matrix, I'm in The Matrix. Some of y'all need to go back and get plugged back in. Cause y'all don't belong out here. It's too much for y'all out here. Y'all, y'all, y'all spilling your views, and that's what I'm trying to say. When it comes to unnecessary altercations, it's all based on views. I see things my way. You see things your way. That's what makes us separate individuals. That's what makes us different about each other. I can't see eye to eye on everything. And you got people out here that's trying to brainwash you to see what they see. They say the sky is blue when you know it's gray. They're gonna keep at you until you say it's blue too. I don't do that. I keep it 100. We could go for days because the sky is black, it's black. And that's just it. You're not gonna put your views on it, but a lot of people become subjective to people's views. But who said what he told you was right? Because he told himself that what he was saying was real. He told himself that when he woke up that morning, he said, I'm the realest nigga out. And then he went outside and he caught a dude doing something and told that dude, what you doing is wrong. Who said what that dude was doing was wrong? How you know if what you telling him is wrong? That's why we all have our own minds and we all think, I mean, we all got the teachings of the parents and grandparents and we got school and we got books. But at the end of the day, God gave you a mind to 
sort out things, to think things out. Because God said there's no way you should be going through unnecessary altercations. Like I said, jealousy being one of them. I know I strayed away from it, but I'm back. Jealousy being one of them. Jealousy opens up a lot of unnecessary altercations. Because you sitting back worried about what I'm doing. You so worried about what I'm doing that you hate on what I'm doing. A lot of people out there don't see the creative side and the time and the effort it takes me to do the things I do. 99% of y'all out there, I'm almost 100% sure, because that's why I said 99, can't do 2% of what I do. But if I leave it to your mouth, you can do everything. And you'll tell me what I'm doing is wrong because the first thing that come out your mouth is, yo, this is what you're doing wrong. This is how you do it. I sat up with a dude one day trying to erect something and I keep shooting out opinions and opinions and opinions about what this person is doing. This person said, wait, I got this. And you know what happened in the end? I had it. I had to get up and do it. Because this person took 10 minutes to do something that I saw in one minute. Less than one minute, if you want to be accurate. Because people are stubborn. People are self-centered. People are selfish. People are too much into themselves and it's not that serious. It's not that serious. That's why they made that phrase, each one teach one. I'm going to teach you, but I'm not going to force it on you. You can't lead a horse to water and expect the horse to drink it. I live by that. I'm just a firm believer in unnecessary altercations.